Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. 637, welcome back. Well, in this year's legislative session, state lawmakers expanded several programs, which made it possible for more North Dakotans to qualify for certain tax credits. Speaking with us this morning is North Dakota Tax Commissioner Brian Krashus. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thanks. So first of all, what are some of the tax credits and refunds being offered right now? Uh, Lawmakers, as you mentioned, this past session passed a uh, historic tax relief and a, a uh, historic tax relief bill over half a billion dollars, 515 million. Mm -hmm. Three primary components. One was the homestead tax credit. There was a primary residence credit, was part two, and income tax reduction. So they were quite busy, and the homestead tax credit expanded significantly, uh, which is really good. More people will be eligible going forward mm -hmm. on that program. And why are you telling about us about this now? Uh, it's early, it's a little bit early, but people need to start planning and getting ready to apply. Uh, there is a good window in terms of the application period, but we're getting a number of phone calls uh, in terms of the different programs, how do they work, uh, what's the timing on them? So we're trying to get the word out. Mm -hmm. And how do uh, individuals or families qualify for some of these programs? Uh, on the income tax reduction, uh, the rates went down. That's already happening. Withholding tables should have been uh, adjusted by employers. So people should be seeing that relief, that benefit already in their paycheck. Okay. The Homestead Tax Credit is another program. Uh, the applications are available. They can go online, start looking at those, but that uh, really casts a wider net for people to take advantage of that particular credit. Mm -hmm. So people at home watching, they could probably save about how much on average would you say? Uh, on average would be difficult to say. Okay. Uh, it's going to depend on the value of their sure. home, but it could be up to $2,000 in property tax relief mm -hmm. for the homestead tax credit. That's about where it's going to max out. Uh, depending on income. For some individuals, it'll be about half that. Uh, but for everyone, it should be fairly substantial. Mm -hmm. And the income threshold, that's the big thing that changed. It went from a $42,000 maximum to a $70,000 maximum in terms of household income. Mm -hmm. So more, peop more people will qualify to apply, and that's, that's good to help ease that, uh, that obligation, that tax bill. Do you get some uh, feedback as to things like, you know, oh, I don't know if that qualifies for me. What would you say to people who might be thinking about that? Uh, we do, and when we look at how many people are eligible, how many people actually apply, it's a fairly high percentage in that uh, for that particular program but still about one in five people who are eligible aren't applying so we tell them go to our website or in this case go to the county website your city uh, website take a look at the information it doesn't hurt to ask and if you qualify it could mean uh, substantial savings so we really encourage people to do that North Dakotans like saving money uh, that they do, and, and uh, it, it was a big package that sure. lawmakers passed this last session. They did a good job. All right. Yeah. Well, Commissioner Brian Krosius, thanks for getting up early to tell us all about that. We appreciate it, and I know yeah. a lot of our viewers do, too.